So, hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I know you can't see my face, but trust me, you don't. I have been trying to work on the house. We're just gonna jump into the haul really, really quickly. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but I know you guys have been asking about some of these dresses and before they're all the way gone, I wanted to go ahead and come here and share with you guys really quickly. So, first dress is a Fashion Nova. You guys know that I love a maxi dress. This one here is just like super, super cute. You have this really nice split on this side and you have another one on this side. The really cute V-neck, which I'm really not showing and then it looks really really good super floral if you've been seeing my living room reveal video then you've seen this and you've asked me about it and here it is so when it came to this dress I'm I'm joking right now you guys okay so when it came to this dress I hesitated a little bit this is like the official Instagram picture right here every girl that's been pregnant has had this dress not to let it go I just had the other dress underneath it you guys like it was another dress so but yeah but I hesitate a little bit because I'm like oh my gosh this is like the baby shower dress the baby announcement dress but it's such a beautiful dress and I see why everyone has been picking it because it really is super comfortable it has a, a thin lining underneath so it's gonna give you some nice breathable air. And then the, the, the detail here is super cute. Matter of fact, when I went to Atlanta for Bay's birthday, a lady came in with a dress just like this and it was powder pink. She looked really good, she had a blazer on. So I really wanted to grab the dress and I promise you, I don't regret grabbing the dress at all, at all. Again, really nice and flowy, nice floral detail at the top part. It's super nice crocheting super cute and then you have an open back detail which i love again i'm gonna steam it just a tiny bit to get some of the wrinkles out or i may not steam it because sometimes when you take the wrinkle out of it and you go to sit the wrinkles look even worse but it's really long and flowy to the floor so the good thing about it is i'm short this is like a lazy day. I don't have to shave my legs. I don't have to polish my toes. I don't have to really do anything. Yeah. So this dress here, again, is another dress. You have a split detail here. Do we have one here? No, we don't. Only we have one. It has a nice lining underneath it. Nice split, super cute, nice crochet belt around the waist so you kind of get a little cinched in, make everything look small and snatched, which I love. And then, oh, just really, really gorgeous dress. The good thing about wearing a maxi, like I said, for me, I don't have to shave my legs in the summertime, which I'm a little lazy when it comes to doing things like that. And I think it's really nice. What would have been killer? Y'all, y'all. What would have been killer on this dress is if it had some pockets. That would have been like the, yes, let me just throw a little change. That would have been really good. Some really nice pockets would have been really good. So I just kind of slide my hands. That would have been perfect, but the dress is absolutely gorgeous. I love the really nice strap detail on top. I didn't tighten it, so I'm having to hold it. The good thing is I don't have to wear a bra. It will hold the girls up and not have them look, you know, crazy. And you see, I didn't, I didn't fix it, so it's not fixed. But once I have it nice and fixed, it's really cute. I love this dress so much. I love the dress so much that I did pick it up in a navy blue. This is from Fashion Nova, you guys. I'm going to leave not only my code down so you guys can get um, an extra 20% or 15% off, something like that. But you'll also have the links to get to these dresses if they're still available. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty late with the video. But um, you guys already know. If you know me, you know that I am a maxi girl to the max. This, this is what I have for all the dresses. I haven't really been shopping a whole lot, but I do love it. I hope you guys like it. I like this a whole lot. This this white with the blue, yes, all day long, okay? The next thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, some of you guys asked. I did ask Baby if it was okay because this is a mine. This is hers, and she told me it was okay to share it. She hardly ever asked for anything, but I told my mom when we were in Atlanta, I said, tell her you want to take her out because if I tell her, she's going to say no. And the reason why she, she's going to say no is because she hates spending money on herself. But it was her birthday and I always try to do something really special for her birthday. I've gotten her everything from diamond earrings to jewelry to um, a Burberry bag. Like I've gotten her stuff but she's never worn them. So on this trip what made it different is that she was really into buying this bag which made me feel really really good and I was happy to get it for her. So the bag that she ended up going with is the Keep All in the Cobalt. This is really really pretty. 
unlike the graphite which is like a black and gray tone or something like this this has a black and navy blue and then the leather is navy blue i don't know if the camera is picking up on that but it's a navy blue and i definitely stress her putting her initials on it with the silver she was like you're the one that's into these bag things i'm gonna let you do whatever and i was like okay so i was like she needs a little rc right there um Probably the next month or two months, maybe three months, I want to get her the toiletry bag because she was pressing for that. But so this is the bag. Again, I really do love it. And I'm so happy that she allowed me to do something nice for her because normally I have to fight her to even take something that's expensive. She's like, nah, nah. I'm really happy that she likes the bag. What I will say is I think I have opened up Pandora's box because she's already online looking like, hey, what you think about this? What you think about that? And I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm ready for you to be asking for no Louis now. <laughs> So, yeah, just be careful what you ask for because I've been wanting her to, like, get into some of the things that I like. And now I think she's too in it because she's speaking the most expensive stuff, things that I wouldn't even be looking at. But it's all good. She's always buying me stuff. So it'll be nice to know what she likes to be able to save up so that I can get it. So the next thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the Laura Vuitton Nice in the Epi print. Now, I actually saw this from a young lady by Something Mommy. She does like bag hauls all the time in Jerusha Couture. Now they have the monogram, but again, you guys already know I'm pretty sensitive about the vachette up top. And because it was a makeup bag, I'm like, do I really want the monogram? And after I saw some of the videos, and I even went online myself and saw it, I did love the bag. So what I ended up doing is going on Google and doing a search. And I go to a store that does consignment, and I said, if you ever come across this bag, please call me. I don't really care, but I see it in the epi print, and I want it in the epi because I know it's not going to get dirty. And she told me no problem, and she ended up finding it. So I did a little bit of cleaning on it last night. I might be able to insert a before picture of what these little things looked like before. They were pretty dark, and I was able to clean them and get them back light. So here's a quick look of what the hardware looks like before. Now you're supposed to go in with the brass cleaner, but just for the rush and sake of time, I went in with the barkeeper's friend. I wouldn't recommend using this. Go in with the barkeeper's brass if you're gonna do this. As a matter of fact, just pay a professional. Don't listen to me, okay? But I wanted to see the results really quickly, so I sprayed it into the tin of my um, candle lid, and then I took a Q-tip, and when I started off cleaning, I didn't use the paper towel but if you're gonna do this and don't say I told you to do it but I'm just saying if you are going to do it I recommend putting the paper towel around the hardware that way it doesn't get on the leather and then you want to just dampen the q-tip don't wet it just dampen it and again just go in with the brass cleaner there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube that you guys can watch don't say that I told you to do it I don't want to mess nobody's bag up please don't say that I told you to do anything So this is what the hardware looks like after the cleaning and this was the hardware before and it's a huge difference. So I did go ahead and clean both. I have not cleaned the leather. There's a little bit of staining on the inside right here and there, but there's a company in New York that does um, restoration to like pre-love bag and things like that so I'm gonna end up sending the bag out it's probably gonna end up costing me like an extra $200 but to be honest with you the size of this bag is huge and I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture that way you guys can see what it looks like on my side I promise you I pretty much pay the same thing for this epi that you would find for the original monogram so it's, it's gonna be worth it for me to go ahead and spend the extra $200 to get it all nice and clean and get that in there. So I'm showing you guys the video now of it. So when it comes back, you'll see the transformation. And you guys, if you have a bag that you already that you own and you want to clean, you can use the brand. But this was my buy for this month. Actually, babe, gift this to me for all the hard work I've been doing in the house. When I asked her for it, she was like, whatever, here you go. <laughs> So here's a quick look at what the Louis Vuitton Epi Nice looks like and I love it. The major plus for me when it comes to this bag is definitely the size. The second one is the Epi Leather of course. The third one 
has to be the straps. Yes, unlike the monogram, this vintage version has the straps so I can travel with it, I can take it to the airport and I don't have to worry about anything. So this was, for, for me, this was a definite great buy. When it comes to pre-love bags, the decision making is really going to have to be up to you. I wasn't interested in the nice. When I started doing a little bit more research, I came across the black epi fell in love and I went on ahead and I moved on it and I love it this right here are just some clips of pictures of, that I have before I'm gonna go ahead and keep them in my memory on my external drive that way when the bag comes back from being clean we can do a comparison on the before and the after all right so the moment that a few of you probably have been waiting for are my slides I started off with absolutely zero flats and then over the course of the past few months I have just been buying and buying and buying and I have built a pretty good collection I'm missing one give me a second okay I'm gonna fix it a little better but I just added it right there so like I said I started off with zero flats and now I have 11 pairs now I love my shoes I think I ordered two more and they're gonna be coming online so I'm probably gonna end up moving these shoes so that way I can have another shelf so I can put them because um my option was flats or three inch heels and I just didn't see myself doing the three inch heel movement so I just said let me just stick with some really nice flats so these right here are the Adrian's and they're pretty simple I don't know why they look so ashy I'm gonna have to spray them down but anyway super cute these I just picked up. These are the Rebecca Minkoffs, you guys. They are amazing. These are like the Gucci dupes right here. Like this one here is a Calvin Klein. Super cute. I actually tried the ones that had the fur on them. Wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan at all. I think they're super cute on other people. But for me, I think because I'm short and my legs are so short, it looks like I have a squirrel crawling up my feet and it just didn't look good. Anyway, but these right here, super, super cute. Again, I love these. And then these blue ones, I love them also. Franco, these are super cute. Love them, love them, love them. My favorite though, okay, these are the same ones as the black ones. And then these mesh ones, you guys. So freaking cute. I've been wearing these like crazy. And then I showed you guys these. And then I have these animal precious to have something different. And then these right here are my favorite. These are super bomb. The tassel. I like the fact that it's going up the shoe and not hanging down. So when you walk, it's not like moving all over. But these are so cute. These are nine west. Um, a subscriber reached out to me and told me they were on sale online for like 40. Unfortunately, I paid a little bit more but I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the gold version of these um, I saw like two more that I loved but I don't know I don't want to be like a, a flat hoarder but it's been so comfortable to wear they're super cute and stylish and if you see my pictures on Instagram you definitely seen how I style them and they look super super cute and chic I absolutely love them if you're not following me on Instagram follow me so you can keep up with what's going on because I do post on there quite frequently but these are mommy's flats I'm gonna have to get me some spray soap for the suede ones because I don't know why they come up ashy on camera but they're not ashy in person which is weird okay so over the weekend what I'm gonna be working on is doing a reveal because the chairs did come in and I'm so excited to share that and then I gotta put the wall art up so you guys will get another view of the room the next thing that's going on is the rest of the locks are gonna go on the door everything has a fresh new coat of paint I'm gonna be putting the plates back on if you're not already following me oh I have a haul coming up because I bought some new things. The console table's coming, so I got rid of the other one and put that there. But um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you want to follow me. I always stay up to date. But you guys, the door is done. It's painted. It looks so, so good. I absolutely love it. That's the lock spray that's down there on the floor. And um, when I'm in the house, it has a grayish tone to and I can see the gray tone and if you can look look at that the sofa the door so yeah I'm excited I'm gonna share everything with you guys a few things is going on but um for those of you who ask Nadia do you have an outdoor thing coming I promise you I do have an outdoor video coming you guys are gonna love that because I'm doing a transformation with the back but I hope you guys enjoy. That's pretty much it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, I'm annoying. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, you guys, at Casanova. I'll be leaving the link in the bio. You want to follow me on Instagram. You want to follow me on Instagram. Bye.